Hey YouTube people, the long awaited day, the standoff between the Surface Book and the Surface Pro 4 i7 is here. And I've been pretty excited about this because while the Surface Book has a discrete GPU, NVIDIA graphics, uh, modified 940, which is actually about 20% quicker than the regular 940M, um, pitted against this little guy. This is an Iris, or sorry, it's an Intel HD 540 with Iris, and basically what that gets you is 64 megabytes of uh, ED RAM, what they call it in here. It uses a lot of power, and we haven't been able to do a really good test on this because it throttles, but due to recent uh, discoveries about the way this thing throttles, uh, we found we can finally run a good benchmark test of this hardware versus this hardware. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, so we're going to hurry and run through a whole gamut of different games and benchmark tests uh, to kind of compare how these two stack up against each other. So it's uh, pretty exciting. I've been waiting for this for a long time and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the results. Two great devices. Um, the Surface Book with the discrete GPU obviously beats out the i7 Surface Pro 4, but not by as much as some might expect. You know, this doesn't have a separate discrete GPU like this one does, uh, but as long as you keep it cooled under a fan, you know, you can actually get a pretty decent gaming experience out of this. Um, in a lot of these tests, it was, you know, about 20% slower than a discrete GPU in some of them it was actually pretty close, especially in Source Engine games. But all in all, it just depends what you're looking for. It's pretty exciting to see this type of power in this package that is actually pretty small. This is a little bit heavier, about 3.5 pounds, but it uh, does work a lot better and under lots of different situations. The drivers also are a little more robust since they're NVIDIA drivers. Uh, so. And uh, if you're looking for the better gaming experience and the better typing experience, Surface Book's for you. But if you want portability and uh, some really great gaming performance in a pinch or that can still be used as a tablet, uh, this thing is, is pretty awesome. For me, I'm going to do the Surface Pro 4. I've got a gaming PC at home, so you know I'd rather have the portability rather than the extra power with the extra heft. So. That's just me, but these are both awesome devices, and it's pretty exciting to finally see the i7 with its iris graphics really come into its own and uh, put up quite a fight against the Surface Book. So thanks for watching this comparison between the Surface Book and the Surface Pro 4 i7, and we'll see you soon. Subscribe to the channel. We'll get lots more videos out soon, and thanks for watching.